Welcome to True Client, a powerful yet easy to use browser based testing tool for performance, load, automation, and monitoring. In this video, we will introduce you to True Client's intuitive user interface and demonstrate how simple it is to create a script. Let's explore the True Client user interface. To the left is True Client's development window, and to the right, the application browser window. We'll start recording a script by clicking the Record button in the True Client toolbar. In this demo, we'll use AdvantageOnlineShopping.com. True Client is an interactive tool. As you can see, while performing operations in the application browser window, True Client generates corresponding steps in the development window. Let's stop recording and inspect the recorded steps. You can see that True Client recorded the navigate, select, click, and type. You can change any of these steps to a different action. Now, we'll replay the recorded steps to ensure there are no errors in the script. The status pane provides relevant information about the replay. You can play a specific part of the script using play until this step play from this step, or play this step. Right-click a step and choose one of the options. This is useful for debugging steps, or if you want to record extra steps from a specific point in the script. By default, true client steps show only a short summary of the user action. To display all the properties for a step, or to modify a step, double-click the step. The step is divided into several sections. The Step section enables changing the action, defining timeouts, and setting step and event. The Argument section provides detailed information about the operation. For example, click coordinates. The Object section enables interacting with the element on which the action is performed. While the Transactions section shows which true client transactions are related to the step, we'll see how to add these soon. If you are not yet sure whether steps are necessary for the business process, you can temporarily disable them. To disable a step, double-click a step and click the Disable Enable During Replay button. Disable steps are faded out and do not replay. Repeat this action if you later want to enable the step. You can drag steps to change their order in the script. Click and hold the left mouse button and then drag the step to the desired place. To learn more about elements in the user interface, you can hover the cursor over an element. A tooltip is displayed, which provides information about the element. This is very useful when working with step arguments. You can delete steps from a script. To do so, use the context menu or the keyboard delete button. After recording the basic business process, you can insert transactions to measure the application's performance. Select the steps to include in the transaction, and from the context menu, select Surround with Transaction. Enter a name for the transaction and click OK. When you replay the steps, True Client measures the time between the selected points in the business process. You can resume recording at any time. The newly recorded steps are placed after the last step. There are additional ways to resume recording, which we will discuss in following sessions, so stay tuned!